Hey guys, how's it going? Eric here today. I got another video for you of my spoils. My girlfriend took care of me this year. She's so nice. Got me a Pelican 1300. Cannot wait to get some of my pieces in here. Now the quality of this thing just blew me away. So, can't wait to get started on... Uh, building a new little home for my babies but today this is what it's about so um, first off let me tell you about the chill real quick thing is pretty sweet it's very light very good on the price action was a little hard to get used to at first because it's not the smoothest but this thing loves to be loaded and push buttoned Look at that, push button it, just load it up with a little force, and it flies right open. It can still be flipped, Oop. but you know, just by itself it's not going to go. You can give it a little wrist action and it'll still go, but if you do it just right, there you go, it's nice. Small bone to pick though, literally minutes ago just got off the phone with Kershaw, again, A1 with their customer service, I'm sending it in, they're going to give me a new one, <clears throat> if you guys follow me, you know, I'm tip up, I prefer tip up, so it came tip down, I went to switch over the clip, which looks like so. Pretty nice actually, solid retention. Want to switch it over. You see the difference there? That's where it was. That's where it's supposed to go. It doesn't fit. These are way too big. Otherwise, clip would lay out something like that. It would be just no problem for me, but hey. Again, like I said, Kershaw is really cool. They're going to take care of me, so I'm sending that back later. But that's not what this video is really about today. We're looking at the Kershaw Link Aluminum Black Wash. This is the Kershaw 1776 ALBW, I think. Let me find, I thought I had a box here. Alright, here we go. That is the gray black wash link 1776 gray BW. This thing is flipping sweet, guys. This blew me away. Fit and finish are on point. No rough edges, nothing. This is a USA made Kershaw. First one at that. It is speed assist. And it is fast. Are you ready for this action, guys? Bam. Look at that drop point. It's comfortable, guys. Ergos are good. And for right around the $40 range, you can't beat this. Zero side to side. Zero up and down play. Perfect. Yes, it is speed safe assisted. Do I care? Not anymore. I used to. I used to not want it, then I got the thermite, and I didn't mind it, and then I got this, and I love it. It just feels so good, right here, perfect grip. It's a quality piece, the lining, solid stainless, or stain yeah, it's solid stainless, but this thing doesn't feel too heavy either, check out the lockout, lock up rather. Nice and early, right? 
I've been playing with this thing for weeks now. Well, not really. A couple days. And it is just sick, guys. Watch out, Thermite. You're going back on the shelf for a while. Because this is just such a beast. So we'll do a little size comparison. Um, it's got 420HC, so it's... It's not the most uh, high-end of steels, which I thought was a little bit of an interesting choice for a USA made. I was expecting maybe something a little bit higher, but like a 14C28 or whatever. But hey, it is what it is, and it's it's still quality, and it came razor sharp. But besides the chill, which is quite a bit smaller, that's why I didn't want to uh, necessarily put that out there. There might also speed safe also tip up also uh yeah that's nice yeah definitely another uh another home run from kershaw it's the hander design there bam a little bit bigger but the same about the same price and this is nice and thin and it is solid and all solid frame lock but i mean this thing just it feels like a tank. It feels more overbuilt. And then this here, Real Steel H6S1, 14C 28N Sandvik. Um, this is about right in the same price range as, as these two as well. Honestly, this thing's about dead even on in size to the uh, Kershaw Link. And uh, that'll be getting some shelf time as well. Because the link is going to be with me for a while. Now this is a little bit smaller. CRKT GSD is also about twice as much. Uh, not really actually. Um, this is about $20 more. Now it's quite a bit heavier. Still smooth and thin. Still has a good action. And that is non-assisted. And it's right about the same size as well. But still. Ergos wise. I mean this does feel good comfortable in the hand but just the way my thumb rests right here this feels quite a bit com more comfortable and this divot's nice when you hit that your finger slides out here and ends right here where this backspacer starts very nice guys very nice and if you don't have any of those here's a spidey there for you so um, yeah overall I love it it's fantastic <clears throat> and again the fact that I had you know a few little problems with the chill and I just took them back or I just called him and you know they had no problem taking it back and fixing it for me just lets me put more faith into Kershaw their product is always great it's a good value so you can see that especially now I'm seeing that the quality that the USA made products can have. It's like this says it's a gray, but it's like almost like a a purple. It looks slick, doesn't it? I wasn't sure what color I was gonna use for this, but black matched up. Alright. So I went with that. Camera's having weird focusing issues apparently. But look at that design. What a beautiful design. Now they make a uh, like an FRN version or a plastic handled version. It's going to offer you more grip, but it just doesn't, I don't know, didn't do it for me. This one does. Feels great. Looks great. Price is great. Materials are great. It's a home run if you ask me, guys. So would I recommend this? Oh, yeah. Check it out. Do yourself a favor. Pick one of these up. Thanks for watching, guys.